Hi, here's my course learning outcomes and objectives for Intro to Literary Criticism Upper Division class. So this class right here, uh, all of these CLOs are required to be on every department syllabus. So these are not changeable and they are aligned with every assignment that I have students produce. And I do uh, give them a quiz in order to tell them how to do these kinds of things. Uh, and and equate everything. So this is how I do it. The quizzes, the annotations, the weekly critical model application, and the weekly peer response to critical model applications, and the final project hashtag analysis offers all the CLOs and attachment that go to it. Now students have to read the CLOs when they do a syllabus quiz at the end of the Getting Started module. So one of the things that I want to show you in navigation. Students are attached to these kinds of ideas and the course learning objectives based on something like the Johns Hopkins annotations, um, which is 15 points possible. So in this particular assignment, it being only 15 points, it takes students away from thinking about A, B, C, D, F. And there's a rubric that goes with it. And the rubric has three different annotation types and the criteria that goes with it. I ask them to think about all of these full marks, medium marks, no marks. And I use the rubric and actually highlight which one they get to. If they get a four or something that's in between, then I use the text box to explain what it is. Otherwise, I ask them to take a look at this rubric before they even begin. Since this is so short, I can't show you the other things that are here. So assessment activities align with the course objectives in that we just assess how they retain and go through these complex article materials and then socially annotate them as well. All right. Thanks.